our goal of our project is to essentially slow down the sheet flow coming off the paved and developed area that lies directly above us that that whole watershed drains into here and that by building these cells we're going to essentially catch the water before it goes down and pollutes the Eno River. Yeah, these are ideal sites for, for doing what we want to do. Retain the storm water, slow it down, remove the nutrients and, and let the sediments fall out. Well, these projects that we're developing um, are really owned by the students um, and they and they are, are they're complicated. They're not trivial projects that we're undertaking. What this project is doing is kind of allowing for better water retention down here. So we're not going to get the channelization of the stream in here. Um, it allows for water to stand in here and then it returns it, it, as it, it, it continues kind of the invasive plant removal that we've done and in its place it puts native plants that hopefully will take hold and be able to dominate the area. It will allow for better plant diversity down here and better plant diversity often leads to be better wildlife diversity and just um, in general it leads to a healthier ecosystem. As we're out here, we're pretty much learning every day. Like as we see different things around us, we can ask questions and Dr. Shaw's really been teaching us a lot. And the whole point of like allowing the water to settle into a floodplain would be for treatment, right? That's right. So it spreads out and then you have deposition of sediments and you have, so remember because the number one pollutant is sediment. So, you, so, the, so as the water spreads out and slows down, the sediments are deposited and then um, and, and it slows the flood wave down. So instead of the flood wave immediately getting to the Eno you know, River, you slow it down here in its floodplain. It slows down, and if enough places did that, then yeah. when Hurricane Fran came through, Rocky Mount wouldn't have gotten flooded. Because all we're doing is we're passing our flood wave down to the coastal plain, and the coastal plain is flat as a pancake, and so it has no choice but to spread out. Right. Great. All right, let's just, that's good. I had a general idea of what we were hoping to do, um, but I've definitely got a better understanding of all this, the smaller components of it, especially after it rained, when we got to come down and see that the cells were full. They were working like they were designed to, and we could even look around and see from like where the sediment was deposited, like how the stream was flowing through and everything like that. It was, it was great to see it actually working. Okay, and then just do that one, one by that roof. So the project began with Dr. Shad's CE-185, which is Sustainable Engineering Design and Construction um, class. And myself and a team of two other students were chosen to design the project. And our first step of this project was selecting a site. Um, so we were actually working with an engineering firm in the area and they gave us a list of sites that they thought would be suitable and we ended up choosing the high school because of its uh, proximity to the ocean and um, the large impact that we could have on this site and also it gives us um, an educational component to our project which we were really interested in. The students designed four bays so the, the water here will be um, the first flush of rain will come into these four bays and these four bays will then have to fill up before then water dumps into this main wetland channel. For me what drew me to this project was the connection that I was going to get with my academic life and this project so designing this project as part of a class and then getting the chance to implement it is a really rare opportunity um, that I definitely wanted to take. So we wanted to pick projects that were going to be high impact and high value. And so these projects here with the school, just, I mean, it's the perfect size for us. And then it has long-term connections where the students from uh, the high school will be able to uh, come and do experiments right here. I mean, they, when they're learning about nutrient loadings and they're learning about wetlands and they're learning about invasive species, they'll be able to come run out their classroom window and see what it's like. They'll be able to do experiments by taking water samples here in the wetland and seeing does the water from the ball field exhibit any different characteristics than water coming from the parking lot? I mean, do you expect to see higher nitrogen and phosphorus loads when you have areas that are fertilized and areas that aren't? You can check all of that right here, um, you know, a couple hundred yards from their classroom. Working with Dr. Shaw has been really great. He has really been very, very dedicated to the project and to us. Um, 
he knows a lot about wetlands and he's really taught us a lot about what goes into a wetland and what it should be doing and the impact it has on the environment. He's been so great like working on the site with us. He digs with us. Sometimes he works even harder than us, which is incredible. He, he just really loves what he's doing and really teaches us along the way so well. What has inspired me to continue to be involved with Duke Engage is the, the real impact that it makes on the community and the impact that it makes on the students. For me personally, I have said to the students that I, that I encourage them to keep the main things the main things in their life, to invest in the things that are really important to them, to live passionately and then to live intentionally. And so I see this as an opportunity to exercise that in my own life um, by being involved in these transformative experiences for both myself and for the students in the communities that were involved. By partnering with the students in this, it gives them the opportunity to to try their ideas um, and and to really own this and to see their ideas blossom. And I just kind of help keep them between the ditches. Um, for me personally, that's a, a really gratifying thing in terms of the educational opportunities that they have uh, to experience this. And then, of course, the the way that we as a group interact with the the community.